Hey, Kansas City. Casey here with State Line Exteriors. And I want to tell you a little bit of something about, uh, oh, some caulking. All right, let's get into it. So you have a couple different kinds of caulks. You got an interior, an exterior, and a, you know, a water base or a silicone. Water-based caulk is specifically meant to go on the inside of a home. Uh, you can finger it. You can do all that. You can tool it because there's not a lot of expansion contraction on the inside of a house, so you don't have a lot of breakaways. So you can get nice, clean cuts. Siliconized caulk is meant for interior work and interior work only a lot of people will use silicone for the outside of the house because it is a good quality high performing caulk the problem is is albeit it does have some expansion contraction qualities it's not a lot and it'll adhere to very well to what it's stuck to so if there's a lot of expansion contraction on the outside of the house what it'll do is it'll peel the paint and the paint now becomes the form of entry for the water but let's look at what we see often and this is you can tell this is a caulk, whether it be a oil-based caulk or whether it be a water-based caulk. An oil-based caulk is specifically designed to go on the outside of a house. When you put it on the outside of a home, you're supposed to lay it to a quarter to three eighths inch bead. With that said, uh, since it's oil-based, it doesn't necessarily dry out all the way and has expansion contraction quality to it. So when you have two different materials coming together, moving the same material, moving due to expansion contraction, what ends up happening is that gasket that you put down can move with it without without failing so that's next to your caulk and it is an oil-based sealant that said any good high quality oil-based sealant is going to be probably an osi or a quad blend uh comes from the hinkley corporation that said even if you do run your finger through it, what you've done is you've destroyed the constitution of the caulk so when uh two two different materials come together they expand and contract they break uh, not a good thing, right? So you want to make sure that it's a quarter to three-eighths inch bead with no finger tooling or smearing. So it's, albeit a lot of people think they can call, okay, it's just something that I can put on the outside. It really has to be performed and installed correctly, or you end up with this. When this happens, you get water infiltrating directly into the house. And that's a bad thing. So we have a customer here, bought a home. Their house has been leaking. Can you imagine the damage that's behind this wall? I, I, I tell you guys, I, I don't know, but I can imagine that there's there's something. But we're gonna help this homeowner out, figure out what we can do, if even if it's just clean this up and reseal this. So we'll stop any damage that's that's going on behind the wall or in between the two, the, two, the walls. All right, Casey with State Line Exteriors, just a little 101 for caulking.